Hello, everyone, and thank you for reading along with us as we're reading through the book of Psalms. And we've selected a few Psalms, and one of the Psalms that we have selected is Psalm 22, and I'll be reading that today. So if you have your Bibles and want to follow along, I'll be reading from the New King James Version. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me? And from the words of my groaning, O my God, I cry in the daytime, but you do not hear, and in the night season, and am not and am not silent. But you are holy, enthroned in the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in you. They trusted, and you delivered them. They cried to you, and were delivered. They trusted in you, and were not ashamed. But I am a worm, and no man, a reproach of men, and despised by the people. All those who see me ridicule me. They shoot out the lip, they shake their head, saying, He trusted in the Lord. Let him receive let him rescue him. Let him deliver him, since he delights in him. But you are he who took me out of the womb. You made me trust while my mother, on my mother's breast. I was cast upon you from birth. From my mother's womb you have been my God. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have surrounded me. Strong bulls of Bashan have encircled me. They gap at me with their mouth like a raging and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It has melted within me. My strength is dried up like a pot shred, and my tongue clings to my jaws. You have brought me to the dust of death, for dogs have surrounded me. The congregation of the wicked has enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They look and stare at me. They divide my garments among them, and my clothing for they cast lots. But you, O Lord, do not be far from me. O my strength, hasten to help me. Deliver me from the sword, my precious life from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth and from the horns of the wild oxen. And you answered me. I will declare your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, glorify him and fear him. All you offspring of Israel. For he has not despised nor abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, nor has he hidden his face from him. But when he cried to him, he heard, My praise shall be of you in the great assembly. I will pray my vows before those who fear him. And poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him will praise the Lord. Let your heart live forever. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations shall worship before you. For the kingdom is the Lord's, and his rules over the nation. All the prosperous of the earth shall eat and worship. All those who go down to the dust shall bow before him. Even he who cannot help, he cannot keep himself alive. A posterity shall serve him. It will be recounted of the Lord to the next generation. They will come and declare his righteousness to the, to a people who were who will be born that has done this. That is Psalm 22. Thank you so much for reading along with us. I pray that you continue to read with us each and every day.